So fall has definitely rolled in. I think it was like 47 or 45 or something overnight. I think these mints look bad because this is where I spray my bug spray. I'm not sure. There's definitely some caterpillar damage. And it's end of season. Ooh, why are you sad? Oh, it's because it was cold, huh? So, uh, might be time to pick my peppers. The purple's finally turning yellow, so I'm gonna pick this. I'm actually making pizza today. So I'm gonna pick these peppers and probably all the jalapenos and cut them on my pizza. Because I don't have any toppings other than onions right now and I don't want to go to the store. So, homegrown the jalapeno and sweet pepper pizza it is. And then I can save the seeds. Presumably they're ripe, right? So I like how these are turning purple on the top. I assume it's because I probably use seeds that are across of that one, but I don't know. There was dirt here because the squirrels were digging. So I sprayed that critter ritter stuff again. And the eggplants are probably sad. I'm gonna just keep these. These are staying out. That can probably handle freezing. And these are from people's yards in San Diego, so they can definitely handle down to 35 degrees, because that's what I saw on my uh, balcony. Um, the one from Lowe's is still blooming. I don't understand, but that's fine. It's actually setting fruits, too. Here's a set fruit. I don't know if it'll actually grow in or not, but fine. I'm mean, just chucking these over the banister. Um, my nice purple aster, I don't know if it just stays every year and then regrows or if it reseeds itself because I swear it was actually over here last year. So maybe it just reseeds itself. No bees or butterflies yet, but that's probably because it's cold. Um, <coughs> I think animals are eating those maypops because I haven't gotten any off of it yet. I did get some maypops and some tomatoes out of the garden. I went to go pick them Friday night before it rained yesterday. Maybe I should go down there again because it did rain, but um, maybe later when it warms up a bit more. It isn't that far down to the garden, but I guess mentally it's a bit far. Uh, what else? The pokra is blooming. I've harvested some pollen off of him. He's indeed a boy. Oh, this is leaves and also pieces of walnut from the squirrels. Oh man, it is right on my sand. Of course. <laughs> squirrels as the purveyors of chaos. Um, what else, what else? Apple's finally growing. I think the deer just ate it a bunch of times, so I need to go get um, like fence fence posts slash stakes from Home Depot to put some fencing with that deer fencing around it and the um, the pomegranate so I can take those horrible bottles off. I, I don't know if the pomegranate will ever actually make me fruit because I'm glad it sprung up those new growths which grew in completely this year but the ones that don't have leaves are from last year. So if it just keeps growing in every year and this is its max height and it never makes fruit, then time to take her out. <laughs> uh, I had gotten some pawpaw fruits and I buried the seeds all over there under that flowering tree that I have because they like shade. Um, and hopefully they overwinter okay and they turn into little trees from the spring so I can have a little grove of pawpaws up front here. And I hear foxes like to eat those foxes and possums and stuff and also me. So we'll, we'll have a feast if they all grow in. What else? Not sure. Mm, Mr. Georgie. <laughs> Um, I did put those raised beds together. I think you saw it when it was um, pointing towards the garden. It's crow o'clock. I was, I was hoping to lure the crows and befriend them with the cashews that I don't plan on eating all of 
but they don't want to fly down and make friends with me, which, you know, is fine, but it would be fantastic to be living in a historic Victorian farmhouse and be friends with a murder of crows. Ah, uh, what else? Um, the Rob Cantlii is not blooming yet, so that's why I'm saving that pulchra pollen, because I want to make Rob cross with pulchra. I think it would be fantastic. Um, little Mr. Georgie's meowing. Hi. <laughs> um, the Thorelia by Camp, uh, not Camp Billiana, Campanulata. Um, I think they're gonna set. We'll find out. I'm not sure what else to talk about this week. I kind of don't want to pop down to the garden this early in the day either in case of mosquitoes, because I'm sick of them biting me already. Ah, uh, yeah, this... <laughs> in case you heard that noise coming out of a car, this, this area, because of that development now, I mean... I moved here to be in the forest. It's not the forest anymore. But that's why I'm replanting a forest. Anyway, so... Hama it's either spatulata by Hamada or Hamada by spatulata. Those seeds are setting, I think. I got a container together to put the flower stalks from all the pygmy dews onto. I don't know if seeds will come out of that and plant themselves or what. I also put some jemme in there. And then when I have ripe nepenthe seeds, I'm going to chuck them in there. If it's a spatulata by Hamada, if anything comes out of that, I'll throw it in there. And then Thorellii by Campanulata, I don't even know where I'll put. Uh, maybe in case one of the previous containers doesn't actually sprout. And then I don't even know what I'm going to do with Rob Cantlii by Pulchra. I just need a Nepenthes farm, like, uh, that old, uh, Leilani farm that was in Hawaii before the volcano ate it all, huh? Um, I think this thing is dead. It's one of those, um, when it blooms, I think the common name for it is, like, starfish bloom. It's kind of fleshy. It, it attracts flies, so it's kind of smelly. It, it was okay in San Diego for a while. Every single time I tried to repot it, it would die back. So I finally repotted it into a nice potting mix here, and it's it just completely died. So I don't know. I think it's supposed to be an easy plant, so I just kill easy plants, right? So I'll just kill all the easy plants. These ones, you know, you're not supposed to water cactuses a lot, but when I don't water them every single week, they die. So I guess... I water everything all the time. <laughs> like, Nepenthes aren't supposed to be in full sun, right? But then I blast them with all those LEDs. I don't... I don't even know. <laughs> anyway, I'm not sure I have much else to talk about, so I'll cut it short here. Um, see y'all next week. <laughs>